Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the solar camo from Infinite Warfare. Now, I had a lot of fun making this one and it honestly does look so good and it is actually so simple. Like, I'm pretty sure any of you guys could make this. Now, it does take a bit of time. Like, you've got to spend it. If you want to make it look good, then obviously you're going to have to make spend time on it. And... The, you know, the longer you take, really, the better the outcome is actually going to be. Uh, so, anyways, you just want to start off with a yellow background. Most of the solar camo is actually yellow, if you actually look at the camo. Most of it is actually yellow, and then less of it is orange. So, make most things yellow, and then make um, bits of it orange in the background. As you can see, I'm literally just getting different of these splatters. I'm making the opacity different for every single layer. And I'm making them all different colours. And this is honestly just because that's how solar is. Like, it's just got so many different gradients of yellow. Like, all the different colours, all the different shades. And you pretty much just want to keep on overlaying these things. And kind of just messing around with different things. Like, for example, here, I literally got a leopard skin. And I stretched it over the top of it. And I turned the opacity down to about 40%. And this is so it gives bits of the weapon a darker look to others and it just makes it look a lot better. And as you can see here, I stretched all of these bits out here at the back and I've made them a pretty low uh, gradient. This is because I was trying to get like a kind of moving effect of like the background was like moving. It didn't really work out too well, but it still looks really good. And as you can see here, I literally get an octopus like i use an octopus in this design that's how like different you can use pretty much anything i literally use an octopus and i stretched its legs across the whole entire weapon and i turned the gradient to around about 10 to 20 percent and once again this is just so it gives the effect that different parts are lighter than other parts and it just makes it look a whole lot better um next i literally got a bunch of blood splatters and I placed it randomly over the whole entire gun and then to finish it off I used this like tattoo, it, well, it looks like a fire, like one of those fire flame things and I made it a black or a grey and I made it quite a dark colour and then I just pull it over the whole entire weapon and then changed the opacity of that to about 10% and once again that's just to give it a whole better look. Um, to get it on the other sides, all you got to do is copy and paste it, and that's pretty much it. Um, but anyway guys, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure to drop a sub, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment on what camo you guys want to see next, but hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to drop a look on my other camos as well, I've made a dragon skin camo, it looks amazing, make sure to go look at that. Anyway, peace.